at the end of that eight weeks that you get to finally put on that Navy ball cap and say, I am a part of the United States Navy. Hello, my people. I am Shay Taylor. I am your Navy fitness YouTuber. Let's get right into what we're gonna be talking about today. I'm gonna to give you the number one reason why people fail boot camp. I'm friends with people who have either been RDCs or are currently RDCs and um, I've just had multiple conversations with them. I'm giving you a little bit of an insider on boot camp, so you're welcome ahead of time. But the number one reason why people fail boot camp is they quit. They quit, they give up, they throw in the towel. They, they say, I'm done, I can't do this anymore, and they let the mental game get to them. The way that you can quit boot camp, either getting as mode, so it means you get set back a week or two, and you do that so many times, will eventually kick you out. So one of the ways people quit is they go to mental health, and they do it not because they need it, but because they think that that is the fastest way out of boot camp. And the reality is, you need to make up your mind and be 1000% sure that you want this, that you want to be in boot camp and that you want to be a sailor and you want to be in the military before you go. Because if you don't and you're pushed into it or your parents push you into it or the recruiter pushes you into it and you show up there, it is, it is freaking hard. It is hard, it is mentally challenging, it is physically demanding, you're sleep deprived, you wanna cry all the time. If you don't have a rooted why, if you're not grounded in the reason that you are there, it is going to be that much harder to stay. So I cannot harp enough that you need to have a why written out on a piece of paper before you show up on day one and just remember, like, why are you there? Um, I definitely had to be pulled out of the black hole a couple of times because you're just so tired, you guys, and they use sleep deprivation. They do it so that they break you down to your most vulnerable state you could possibly be in, and then they build you back up. So that's the number one reason why people fail boot camp. The second biggest reason is because they can't pass the PRT. Just make sure that you can run a mile and a half and under the amount of time that is the, you know, good, like, recommended time. And you can find those times online. Don't get probationary. If you get probationary and you can't do a certain amount of sit-ups in your age group and you can't hold a certain amount of plank in your age group, like, you can run it one time and fail it and then you're gonna get asmoed so you're gonna get kicked back again be fit before you go i mean I, I know that not everybody has resources but go do you have a pair of like do you have a pair of tennis shoes cool you have everything that you need go outside and start running do your push-ups do your planks do all the things that you can in your power to set yourself up insider tip number one and this is also my personal opinion the first three weeks of boot camp are the most challenging. That is where they weed out the people that really don't want to be there. They weed out everybody that, you know, has a weak why or just is like, you know, was pushed into it or really didn't want to be there in the first place. And the way that they do this is the first night that you show up, you stay up for longer than 24 hours. So you stay up for like 30 hours or something and then you get right into it. But let me tell you, the RDCs, the recruit division commanders, which are like your drill instructors, they are really good at weeding out the cocky ones and the people that don't really want to be there. Don't stick out like a sore thumb. And what I mean by that, don't talk back, don't make yourself obvious, just stay humble and keep your mouth shut. The second insider tip, boot camp is more mental than it is physical. Yes, you have to be physically prepared. Yes, you have to be in good shape to get through it, but it is so mental, it's not even funny. They do things such as when you show up, like, say, all right, these tennis shoes. These are no longer called tennis shoes. These are called go fasters. Get it? Like, go faster. Um, things like the floor, it's now called a deck. The bathroom is called the head. Don't ask me where they got that from. I have no idea. Um, the ceiling is the bulkhead. They are basically breaking that civilian mentality of you and trying to shape you into a sailor and into a team player. So you're no longer an individual is what they call it. It is kind of a mental game. Um, it is, it, although it is very realistic. Other things that they might do for, you know, mental toughness would be one person in the division messes up. That means the entire division messes up. So they, they call it beating you. Like, oh, they're going to beat you. And I hate that term because it's like... <laughs> No, they don't, they don't touch you. They're not allowed to touch you. 
but they make you do push-ups and sit-ups and flutter kicks and call it making the wall sweat. So basically everyone is sweating so much that there's so much humidity the room gets steamy and I'm serious. I legitimately felt like the room was getting steamy at some point. If you mess up as an individual, the entire division gets beat. So keep that in mind. If you're acting like a bonehead and you're just talking to everybody and which you're not allowed to talk to other recruits when you're like in training mode or if you, you know, mess up on accident even, they will they'll beat the entire division. So you can't look your RDCs in the eyes. You cannot make eye contact with them. If you do, oh my gosh, it is like you bring out the Hulk in them or something. I don't know. <laughs> if you go through this insane amount of stress at boot camp now, when fit hits the shan down the road, you're gonna kick it into that survival mode and know exactly what to do because you've been through that kind of stress before. So don't think that anyone is out to get you because they're not. Don't think that they hate you because they honestly, the RDCs probably won't even remember your name the day after you graduate. That's just the fact. They see thousands of people a year. Boot camp, you have to find like the funny small moments that get you through the day. Um, for me, my rockmate and I would always, always laugh, laugh at, laugh everything. at everything. Like, I mean, it wasn't like there was a time and a place, but you know, if somebody farted or it's funny because shower times you have like on Sunday, you get to take the longest shower that you ever wanted. So Sundays we would all go in there and we would wash our hair. And I just remember having some of the deepest conversations I've ever had naked in the shower with like 20 other girls because you're all going through the same thing and you're just all in the same boat and you find small moments throughout your day to get you through and to get each other through. Overall, boot camp goes by super quick. Days are long, but the weeks are short. Try not to count your days. That will just prolong the process. Stay focused, stay humbled, keep your mouth shut. Try to make memories while you're at it and just be a sponge. Soak in as much information as you possibly can and you will make it through. Don't quit. This is not the fleet. This is not what real Navy is like. Boot camp is not what real Navy is like. Be proud to be in the military because there's less than 1% of the population is in the military and less than 1% of the population gets to experience what we get to experience. I mean, how cool is that? You're going to have stories to tell your kids and your grandkids and your future spouse and Man, it is whew, at the end of that eight weeks that you get to finally put on that Navy ball cap and say, I am a part of the United States Navy. I am no longer a recruit. I am a sailor. So I hope this motivates you guys and just don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit and you'll be just fine. 98% of you are not subscribed. Just hit that darn red button. I know you want to. If you hit it, you'll save a puppy. I don't know. I don't think you'll actually save a puppy. Maybe. I don't know. Like, you will help support this channel and it would mean the world to me. So I will see you guys later in the next video.